Fathers, it's Diaper Ladies. Today's video is about diaper pails. This is a question that I get quite often, um, and it is, should I go with a wet pail or a dry pail for my cloth diapers? Uh, now I'm speaking for our Oobles Bottoms brand of cloth diapers now with the pails. I'm not sure about the other brands, what works best. Uh, okay, so there's a few things to kind of take into consideration when deciding if you want to do a wet pail or a dry pail. Uh, the first is just what are you comfortable using? Dry pail is uh, basically everything goes in the same pail. So what you would do, uh, well, all of them, your pee diapers are just going to go into a dry pail anyhow. That means that there's no uh, there's no water in the pail, right? So it's just it's an empty pail, and you throw the pee diapers in the pail. Uh, now the poop diapers. So what you can do with those if you just want to use a dry pail is when your baby poops, you would just rinse it out into the toilet. Uh, so shake it out and then in the sink give it a quick rinse off and a quick little scrub uh, wring it out and then put it into the dry pail with the pee diaper so you're only going to have one diaper pail that you're using uh, so that's the difference to me it's just what you're more comfortable using um, and what works better for me when my daughter was in diapers i had a big wash basin uh, in the laundry room so i would just fill that up with water and a little bit of soap or whatever and then the poop diapers I would just give a really quick rinse out some and then or like shake the poop into the toilet and then throw them into the wash basin and they would sit in this you know water for a day or two until I was gonna wash them so with the layout of the laundry room that worked best for me um, so just think about sort of how your how your house and your laundry and your bathroom is set up uh, if you're in a small space it just might not make sense to have two pails and it might just be a lot easier for you to have one dry pail. And then what seems more doable for you? This, this is funny because I was having a, I was emailing back and forth with a woman about the pails and uh, it came up and I said, well, you know, one of the options is after they poop, you can just, you know, you take the diaper off of them and then, because lots of times when they poop, you don't have time to be dealing with this, you can just throw it in the toilet. In your clean toilet obviously there's nothing else in the toilet but you just throw it in the toilet and then later you can you basically just go and you stick your hand in the toilet and you give it a quick little scrub out wring it out and then into the dry pail and i said but i don't really <laughs> I, said, I did that um but i don't talk about it on videos and i don't recommend it too much because when you tell parents to stick their hand in the toilet it's just like you want me to do what so you know, she kind of said, you know, we all have our limits or whatever, and that's totally true. So if you're comfortable with that, then honestly, I found that to be just really easy and uh, like you're changing them, you're busy, you shake the poop in. If they're at the point where they're eating solid foods, then you would just sort of like a lump of it would shake in the toilet and if it needs to soak, you flush down the poop and then throw the pad or the diaper in to soak further and later come back when you have time and give it a scrub out. So that's an option, but really, again, it's just what you feel comfortable doing. So ultimately, the diaper pail thing, it's a personal choice. If you choose to use the wet pail, you would just have a pail and you would fill it up, maybe three quarters, you can put in a little bit of uh, soap or whatever into it, and then when they poop, for the first six months, you can just not rinse it out and throw it into the pail. On washing day, just drain the pail out drain the water out of the pail and then those diapers go in the washing machine uh, with the diapers from your dry pail. So it's pretty simple. After six months when they start on solid poop, then you're gonna shake out or scrape off or spray off as much of the poop as you can. And then again, put it into the pail with the water and the soap, wash day, drain it out and wash them all together. Uh, so either way, it's pretty simple. Um, you can do a combination of both. You can try both, see what works for you. But I mean, with our diapers, it really doesn't matter. You can do it either way, just whatever you're comfortable with and whatever's gonna work best for you. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please post below or you can email us. You can also find us on Facebook. We love to connect with people there as well. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions.